everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do some partial die cutting and make an abstract piece. I found this beautiful geometric art piece. And so we're going to create a card that looks like this, at least similar to this. We will be using circle die cuts and banner die cuts. Of course, we'll be using paper and a card base. My recommendation for doing this type of a technique for the partial die cutting is to use a regular base and a smaller base. That way it's easier to do bar partial die cutting. Let's score our card. Now we're going to find a good circle size. I think this one will be good. We're not going to use that on a white cardstock piece. We're going to use it on our scraps. Specifically our blue and black, green, yellow, and gray. First, we're just going to cut our circles out of these pieces. And then we'll do our partial die cutting using the banner. To make die cutting a bit easier, you can always just stack at least two sheets of cardstock and put your die cut on top of them. forgot the sandwich. Sandwich. Die cuts. Run it through. Set these two circles aside. We've got our green and our yellow together. We've got our green and yellow. And we're going to do our blue piece. Now we're going to take our orange and cut a small circle for that because that will be representing our sun. I think that'll work. There we go, we have a little circle cut so that when we start putting our pieces together and it starts forming the look we're going for, this will represent the sunshine. Now it's time for our banner pieces. We're going to take the banner die cut and tape it onto the circle that's already been cut. Now we don't want this banner to be completely cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this 
on our platform, take the smaller piece and make sure it doesn't go past the washi tape line. Actually, we're going to change where that washi tape line is a bit. But you don't, since we're partial die cutting, you don't want to put your top plexi sheet over the entire die cut. You just want it to go no further than that washi tape line. Now, as you can see, we've cut this piece from our circle and we've got a bit of this piece cut off. We're going to trim the rest of this off using our paper trimmer. Now you just take your paper trimmer, the part that's going to cut, up to this line no further because you want to have this pennant piece still attached to the circle piece. So as you can see, we cut part of that. Yes, there's a bit of this that's still left over from where we cut the, use the die cut. But that's okay, because we're going to stack this piece. And we still have this portion of the circle left. So you take that pen in again and you place it onto your circle. And again, you only cover up the piece that's got the washi tape. You don't go any further than that because you'll be cutting too much off of this. Now, as you can see, the pennant's been cut out of this circle and we're just, and again, we're just gonna take the paper trimmer to trim off part of the circle. So all we're left with is half a circle and the pennant piece sticking up. So you're only trying to trim off that piece. If you're worried about it being too close, what you can do is take a pair of scissors to cut it. And then there you go. Now we just trim off the rest of this piece. And actually, to make it easier on yourself, you can just trim off 
this much because you're not going to be using it. So that way it's easier to cut that line. And if you're worried about it jostling, what you can do is take some washi tape again and just tape part of it down so that way all you're worried about is trimming. Now you've got this piece and this piece. What you can do is glue these pieces down if you would like to. For this piece we got, for this black piece we got lucky because it already had adhesive sheet on the back of it. We're not going to be as lucky with the rest of the sheets, nor this yellow sheet because they don't have adhesive on the back of them yet, but that'll be fine because we can just do a bit of gluing. So I know we're not done, but we're starting to get this to look a bit similar to this piece right here. Next we take our green piece. As you can see, we're still doing the partial die cutting, and where you'll want to take the paper trimmer is right here next to this notch that's already been cut. Now, I'm using this paper trimmer because I know exactly where the cut line is. It's right here next to this part of the plexi. But that doesn't mean you have to have this type of paper trimmer, but you, you will probably need a paper trimmer or, again, you could just use scissors. Or if you're real comfortable with an X-Acto knife and a ruler, you could totally use that. I'm just not that comfortable with it. Now we're just going to grab our adhesive. And you can use as much or as little as you like. So all we have left to use uh, is our blue sheet. And our gray sheet. Then we can place this down onto our card base. As you can see, what we've got is a little bit different than what the artist did, but that's okay because we're making our own art here on the card. But since this is the piece that inspired us, we will still give credit to the artist. Now, I'm not going to do this stream because I don't have a die cut that'll really help us do that. But we will do the birds because I have a stamp that'll help us do that. And of course, we've already cut 
our orange for our sunshine. If you like at this point, you could try to distress this with some ink or you could leave it as a clean line. I'm gonna leave it as a clean line, but that's my preference. I think that's a good place to leave this banner for die cutting. And it's partially die cut, so just trim it off again. Now you can see a bit of this gray behind this yellow and we don't want that. We want it to be looking more like a mountain range. So we're just going to take our scissors and snip those off. Now we just have to glue this down and our sunshine. And I'd like to stamp some birds. If I have small enough birds, if you don't, what you can do is take fine line marker and you could just draw your birds in if I can't find a stamp that matches the size because I don't want them oversized for this piece. To make sure that it's straight we're going to use our T-square. We're going to actually cut this circle smaller. Then it's already cut and we just want to cut it smaller. We're just going to use some washi tape to stick it down so that it doesn't jostle while we're die cutting it. So just glue this onto the card. And then if you'd like to draw some birds, you're basically just drawing two little small circle, small half circles. For our purposes, we're just going to leave this a clean and simple card. But you could totally stamp on it if you wanted to, and of course you could stamp a sentiment inside. Please check out the Dizeress store site. I will have links to it so that you can find dies similar to what I used to create this card. I hope you have a crafty day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay crafty. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. If, you'd if you liked the video, please click the thumbs up. 
And as always, I'd love to hear your comments. Have a wonderful day. Bye.